What's up, man? I'm just, this, this shit ridiculous. Just reflecting on life. And, uh, come again with, uh, important information on DG. Dealing with DG, man. They got the ups and downs. What, what I, but I gotta let y'all know right now. Views and criticisms or anything that ties in are solely based on me and my experience while working with them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I have had some ups and downs dealing with them to the point that made me want to quit. And I've met other drivers who've been here for over 10 years. You know what I'm saying? They've been here long term and they've gone through the same thing. And they basically, they, they just basically uh, have told me what I need to do to just get by. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a frustrating job. You know what I'm saying? If you if you out here and you it's something of a career starter, yes, dealing with the management at the stores is ridiculous, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can call pre-trip call the stores and let them know in advance that you're on your way or whatnot and when you get to the store they're still not ready for pickup the management they're only and I, after a while of invest, doing my own investigation and talking amongst the uh, I call them fellow employees because they're employed by Dollar General just talking to them and, and, and seeing what's going on like it can be a hindrance at the same time it can be frustrating they're only allowed so many hours per manpower per so many people that are employed at these stores. There's gonna be times you get there and you be like, damn, I got I got so many X Y Z, so many amount of uh, rotators that I got to send that I got to deliver, and it's not enough room in their stock room. And it's been going on this whole entire time. And look. This is this is my opinion from being in the industrial field and working as many jobs as like I stepped down from management and I've noticed this, bro. When these jobs, when these corporate jobs ask y'all like, what are your opinion to make the job better? Man, they really ain't listening to folks that's out here in the field. They're not. They're trying to save a dollar while listening, but at the same time, they're gonna do what they're gonna do to benefit them. Like at the D.C., bro, like there should be no job in corporate America that works 12 hour shifts. If you want to be working 24 hours, bro, just get three hour overlapping shift of eight hours. Basically, let, like if I work eight and a half hours, basically them that I work eight hours, but them last 15 them. To 30 minutes or whatnot, it's gonna be with me working with someone. It's basically as they come in, they're getting their stuff set up, they're coming behind me and they're noticing what I'm doing and they're like gonna move in. And as we rotating in, they're working. Now I'm assisting them until they get caught up, and then I hand it over to them, and then I leave. It it eliminates so many problems, man. So many problems. You know what I'm saying? That's one. Two, what I think they need to do is get rid of um, like how they doing these road turns, how they loading them. I think that the store should be delivered like how they, I think they deliver like twice a month. Um, so it's like once, once every two weeks or once every week or however it's doing. Like seriously. It shouldn't be that much product getting delivered. If it is getting delivered like that, y'all should deliver like essential things. You know what I'm saying? It should be it should be moderate things because if you're going by them scanners, man, some of these stores again, the, they get behind. They got thirty some roll turners, and the next delivery is about twenty some roll turners. If they don't have that many people that that to to put these items on the the countertops, bro, you're gonna run into a terrible situation. With that being said, like it's just it's just management. Now, as far as a driver, me, 
like I've learned I've, I've been here for a year and the first six months I tell you right now it was a motherfucker but then after a while I started noticing I, I got a speed I got a, a routine down to where I can deliver at a pace only thing I can tell y'all the pros is if you if you run right you can make a good living when they tell you you can make between 60 to 90 90k a year it's possible you know what i'm saying especially with the bonuses and everything you know what i'm saying like it's it's a good routine if you got the men, the mentality for it if they get everything running and everybody be on everybody does their job this could be a good company a better a better company now the cons it's gonna be some days you're gonna get in here and don't want to do this shit Gonna be some days the dispatchers is, is is on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's like it's always gonna be something that frustrates you. I like to run. I like just send me my load. Don't get my load to nobody here. Just let me when I come in. Just let me keep going because I'm on a clock. Cause now you're saying we might roll. We gotta run the whole 70 hour clock out in a week. Okay, well just send my load. Don't touch it. Give it to me. That's it. If somebody else. Ain't got a load or whatnot. They just sit and pay them for delay pay. You know, because the whole delay pay issue is like, bro, y'all didn't even paying for it. Like, it's it's always going to be uh, an, an excuse or a rule that overrules the rule that you just established. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all it is. Like, DG, it's a, it's if, if all the jobs, the driving jobs I didn't have, what would I rate these out of five stars? I give G, DG will be with everything that goes on. I give them a three and a half star, three and a half, three and a half. That's, that's, that's just because that's just me being here a year. Three and a half. Now, if I be here longer than that, it might go up. It might not. You know what I'm saying? So we just we'll just sit back and see.